Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I have an unboxing to do with you today. More craft supplies. What's new? A um, bit of a Christmas present to myself. Now, the lovely lady at George's Bible keeps putting things in her clearance aisle. <laughs> and I did see some re-anchors and stuff like Tim Holtz things and that go in and I thought oh it's such a good price um, I might just stock up because like all the distress products from Tim Holtz it's like playing Pokemon you feel like you've got to get them all um, I've been trying so hard not to be like that I couldn't understand when I first started junk journaling why people had to get all the different colors and that and how expensive it would be <laughs> So I've tried avoiding it on the whole, but once you start using them a fair bit and realise how much fun they are and how they all do sort of different things and that, you do start wanting all the colours, but it can be quite expensive. So when I saw them discounted, and it's such a good discount, in the clearance aisle at George's Bible, I had to go over and grab some. So I did that. And of course, you know, I make the money up to a certain allowance for myself, thinking that's it, that's all I'm going to do. And then she puts more on the clearance aisle. <laughs> so I have a parcel here and I've got a few coming, but I thought I'd get on and show you and let you know, go and head over, check out the clearance aisle. While you're there, check out the rest of the stuff because she's got heaps of awesome stuff there. But yes, um, if you need to stock up like me on some different colours and re-anchors and sprays and stuff, now, I think my re-anchors are still on the way. This must have been my spray splurge. <laughs> oh, goodness me. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible. But at this price, uh, it was too good to not do so. Oh, wow, that is, I haven't seen one that big. Oh, my goodness me, I didn't even know it was that big. You'll see what I mean after. All right, just put the box there and we'll get into it. So, firstly, I did grab myself some texture paste because I'm getting low on the stuff I've got here, but this is black opaque stuff from Tim Holtz, and that piqued my interest. So I thought I'd grab that and see what I think, do some different stuff with it. You know me, I, um, I dabble in mixed media, and I don't do the best job of it at all. <laughs> but I'm, I have fun with it, and that's the main thing, so I'm going to keep trying. Got one of these. Look at this. This is huge. I've never seen such a thing. It's an archival ink. So I love archival inks. So I thought I'd grab this. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to open it up now and see if it's as big as it looks on the outside. So, yes, the lovely lady at George's Bible has had her, her work cut out for a pack and all my parcels for me, but <laughs> no self-control. <laughs> Look at that. That is huge. Love it. That's going to be awesome. All right. And then I grabbed, um, there's dies and stamps and everything um, in the clearance section. So something for everyone. I grabbed this. I've been eyeing this off for a while. This is fenced in. So it's like your chain link fence die. Thought that would be interesting to use. And then I've got this stencil. It's a film strip stencil. Thought that would be a nice background for some journal pages and that. Yeah. Oh, looks like she's given me a gift as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's a Christmas present for me. Oh, thank you so much. Such a sweetie. Oh, nice. I have to keep this and reuse it. Beautiful. I do have more to show you that I bought, but 
I'm all excited by this. I have to get in and have a look. Much appreciated. Beautiful little tag. Keep that. And some washi. I'll leave that there and then I can peel it off and put it in one of my journals. So these are embossing folders. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's going to be awesome to make some covers with. This one's metal plates. That will be great for doing some covers. Could even emboss and then cut it into individual pieces as well. And that would look cool. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Uh, this one's flight path. So these are Kaiser Craft ones. Yeah, love that. Great for the travel journals. Beautiful. And this, love this. Oh, I think I was on this one off too. This is brick wall. It's a huge stamp. Such a good background stamp, that. Five by seven inch it is. And that's Couture Creations. Beautiful, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with all this. Oh, and this is huge too, a big wood grain one. This is wood panel. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, so it's like a, um, a wall, wood panelling on a wall. You've got your wood grain texture, but it's sort of got the lines as well from the planks or whatever. That's going to be so much fun to play around with. Thank you so much, lovely lady. So I appreciate that. And then I've got my big stash of sprays because I, yeah, at the price they were. Usually um, I've been collecting my inks and a few sprays here and there. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, about seven sprays of the Distress, Distress Oxide sprays. But I tend to just get one um, each time I sort of buy a big order from somewhere. I'll just add one to it because they do cost a bit. Oh, this is packed well. Get me scissors. Good thing it's packed well though. Not these things, you don't want them spilling everywhere. I might just unwrap the bubble wrap up of both packs and then we'll go through and see what we've got here. Yeah, I thought at the price they were, you're not going to get them for that again, so I'm going to grab a pile of them. Actually, I think I grabbed every one that she she had available. <laughs> I think I chose four or something and that, I thought that would be enough, and then it was like, what are you doing, you idiot? At that price, get them all. <laughs> so I did. Oh, I've been loving using these, though. So I've got Blueprint Sketch. I've got Milled Lavender. This is Evergreen Bow. I always say bow. Um, iced Spruce. I didn't realise there were so many colours. Uncharted Marine, Mariner, Marina, whichever way you want to say it. I think it's Mariner, but I like Marina. Although Marina is where you park your boat, isn't it? Um, Valanius Potion. And it had to have the purples. But there I was picking on my favourite colours and, yeah. And I thought, no, just grab them. Uh, brush Corduroy, Prize Ribbon, Twisted Citron, Stormy Sky, Frayed Burlap, and Sponge Sugar. And the last one I grabbed was Wild Honey. So that is so cool. Because it's amazing, like I have a couple of colours, but um, when I go to use them, I it doesn't turn out very good because I might want a few different hues of brown or a few different greens. And I've sort of got one brown, one green, one blue, and that's it. So this gives me a lot more options 
for what I want to use them for. And I've got a project in mind that I might be using a few of these for in the new year. So massive thank you um, to George's Bible for these awesome products. Uh, if you still have any money left after spending for Christmas and that, go buy yourself a Christmas present or get someone some late Christmas presents. Go and check out her clearance aisle and everything else she has in store and do what I did and buy a big Well, They're such a good price, I tell you. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I've got some... Um, a whole pile of reinkers coming too because there's a project I want to try with those. And then I think I grabbed some dies. And yeah, I'm not sure. So really looking forward to having them and having good play with them in the new year. So do take care of yourselves. Be good. Um, I'll put the link down below to George's Bible so you can go and check it out if you'd like. Um, take care. See you later.